Hello, and thank you so much for downloading this bad boy. Um, by that, I imagine that you have circumnavigated it slightly and found yourself on this YouTube because you wanted to know a little bit about this PDF. And obviously, hey, I'm Tom. You probably would have read about me in there. Um, and basically, we're just going to have a little outline of what the PDF or what the ebook is about um, and how you can utilize it as a footballer or a field-based athlete or as a coach that you want to look at some of the how we do some things um and you can go off and hit the ground running get over some boring training and stop doing full body well stop doing nonsense in the gym right so that's the idea make you a better baller make you a better athlete and uh, then you might get one of these all right um and test yourself in a combine Right, so all we're gonna be doing is just flicking through this lovely uh, kind of ebook. And obviously you flick through to get to this YouTube video anyway. So, well done you. All right, so easy contents. I'm sure you can read that. That is absolutely fine. Um, that is a little spiel about me. Kind of worked in the industry for a little bit too long. But we're good. All right, um, without further ado, we're just gonna go into some of this kind of nuances of how uh, you can go structure and what I want you to kind of push for for every single session and what's going on on this page, okay? So basically, we're gonna get away from gym bro training. Um, that's what I want you to do um, and not doing kind of body part splits in the gym. That's not gonna help you play football. It's not gonna help you play cricket. It's not gonna help you do anything else, okay? So whichever one will be my eBooks, you know, download over the next kind of six to nine months or whatever, um, that's what you're able to do. And obviously you can come on and do coaching and the combine and you're gonna get way better results from just doing that, okay? Instead of faffing around in the gym. Obviously you found the YouTube click here. So that's wonderful. All right, so we're gonna focus on strength, power, resilience, change direction, mainly as a footballer, okay? But we also need obviously speed, acceleration, plyos, injury prevention, strength endurance, aerobic capacity, lactate capacity, and a bit of skill, obviously. Um, there's lots of buckets to fill, basically, is what you're gonna be going through. Um, but we're gonna be looking at that in an interesting kind of way. And then this is a kind of a mock-up of a week, what you may be doing as a semi-pro baller, um, probably training on the Tuesday or the Thursday or like kind of Monday, Wednesday. Uh, those are your kind of your other base sessions with your ball work. Um, and then you may be able to do your gym base sessions on these other days. Um, but you could cut them down. You don't have to do the full volume if you're feeling tired, that kind of thing. Because if you're a pro baller, you've probably got a little bit more stuff going on um, and gym work in the facility. So you can get away with it a little bit more. Okay. Um, so this is geared off like a preseason as well. So you can do this as a preseason with just a little bit more aerobic capacity built in. So all that cardiac output. Okay, so on Monday, we look at hinge focuses, light power, fast plyos, um, then Tuesday, it's all about change direction. I can do a top speed kind of session, but it's not usually kind of built in for a lot of footballers um, because it's acceleration, that one, that first step quickness, and that one to 10, one to five meter quickness is what will set you apart. A thousand percent, that first step is massive for you, delivering power in one step quickness, right? Um, then we've got slow plyos, fast plyos, ball work, cardiac output. We've got some lower body, full body kind of splits, okay? So instead of doing bicep curls, lat pull downs, just uh, dumbbell presses, all that kind of fun stuff, um, and just going, I'm gonna put my chest today. That's not what we're doing, okay? And we're gonna be shuffling on through that. Right, so each of these days, as you'll see, you're able to click on one of these links, okay? That will take you to the explanation of that exercise or give you a tutorial or just like somebody's video that I like um, that will show you how to do it, all right? So these are some basic outlines. What This is probably far better than a lot of coaches give out, okay? In their paid service of what we could do throughout the week, all right? And I'm just gonna give you a kind of outline on rest times, loading patterns and stuff like that, okay? So as we said, um, so across the board, if there is load, I've written basically just heavy, moderate or light, okay? Just because I don't know what you're loading, I'm not coaching you, all right? Um, and just basically you aim for like an eight or nine out of 10 if it's heavy, and even below that when you go in moderate, okay? There's, I don't think there's any real light loads in there. Um, rest times, if you're doing probably between 60 and 120 seconds, something like that, one to two minutes is absolutely fine. If you're doing heavy work, you might need a little bit more rest. But if you've got something like this, okay, so you see like 
three things in a line or two things like B1, B2, that means do them back to back. Okay, no resting between those, just go walk over. So you did trap bar deadlifts, walk over to the floor press, um, your dumbbells should be next to you and just crack on. After you've done your third exercise here, so after you've done the broad jumps, then you can have two minutes of break. Okay, pretty much there. So get, because we're aiming for high quality performance, that's what I want you to focus on. We're not just trying to churn out reps and get quantity, okay? There'll be a lot of low rep base things. We want you to lift some load. All right, um, and then if you need more, then just take it. Okay, so really basic outline. It should They should be about 45 to 60 minute kind of workouts, okay? Um, that is all you're gonna need, right? So here, the main kind of thing we're focusing on is that trap bar deadlift. Everything is supplementary. That's the main big like balls to the wall effort here. Um, and then we've got some like, resilience and some rocker jumps and some all these kind of stuff you may not be exposed to before um, which is going to be fantastic for your football all right and this is a change direction session okay so the the sessions on the monday so this is the monday monday uh wednesday friday all gym based these ones don't have to be okay i really they're probably better on a field based session um and going outside right so these are all just movement structures and super low rep but i want high 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 effort and intensity okay so you're going to be trying to move with purpose every single time i would recommend just sitting there kind of taking in all the movement learn how to do them and then they'll become second nature and you'll probably build them into your warm-up or match day warm-ups as well okay so that's change direction obviously that's massive if you want to add in ball work at the end of these sessions or your aerobic training, that's where I would put it, okay? This movement quality will be like 40 minutes uh, beforehand, then go do your aerobic, like one kilometer, five kilometer jogs, whatever, runs, all the ball work afterwards, play a game, okay? I would do this prior to your ball work sessions. Okay, so full body, this is focusing on pull-ups, is probably the biggest thing. We've got some paused integrity work here, some isometric work here. So we focus on joint strength quite a lot, right? And again, we've got those like soft plyometrics always kind of sitting in our sessions and some good bicep curls, mate. It's all right, isn't it? Um, and then I put a link in here just so you can get a view from inside my coaching as well, which discusses this day um as i would teach it to maybe one of my pro bowlers that are, or semi pro bowlers or whatever any guys that are doing movement based sessions acceleration is in every sport that i play okay so probably somebody's going to be doing this or it's a coach that is just interested in acceleration cool um again similar kind of thing make sure this sits on a day before you're going on to do your cardio work your ball work or anything like that okay so again click those links you're going to find all the explanations that you need to all right so and then just follow the structure all right friday is going to be lower body part two essentially so you've got some proper loaded split squats you're really excited about that so heavies um stuff like that um and then that shouldn't be say body weight there <laughs> but dumbbell step bounds all this kind of stuff okay so again more resilience based training more quality effort um there's no junk volume in here we're just about getting stronger and more adapted to football if you want to go do the volume and get great massive triceps and stuff afterwards be my guest okay um but that's absolutely fine this is going to make you a better player all right, um, and then we've got ideas for tests. So obviously, when I worked in professional football and what I built the whole combine around is testing, and it's pretty essential for tracking progress. So I would do this. So maybe it's just a batch of tests. What have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven here, which is pretty cool. Um, I might do them at the start, middle, and end of a program. Maybe if we ran like this uh, for six weeks, we might do it in week one and week seven, right? just to see whether we've made progress about any of these things. Um, I haven't linked all the videos because I haven't filmed them all. <laughs> okay, I don't have a tent. You know what a tender you know, dash does look like. Um, you know what 1K run will look like. That would be pretty boring videos. Okay, there's probably a 10 yard, there's a 10 yard acceleration piece in there anyway. So probably just do that. Um, and I'm gonna time that, cool. But obviously some of these are built on my combine, my gym based combine that I uh, run uh, for in-person uh, groups as well. Um, so that's pretty good as a kind of all round athlete and getting stronger kind of piece. Okay. All right. So that pretty much sums up everything you will need to go through. Um, remember the biggest things in for ballers, 
um, are going to be hamstrings, calves, ankles are probably going to be the biggest things that are going to take the biggest amount of beating. So you'll see there's a lot of work done on those to make them as resilient as possible and as explosive and plyometric as possible, okay? When we say plyometric, we're building tendon health and we want them to push around and go nuts, all right? So just think about those structures. There will be, there is another video on my YouTube discussing um, basically how to break down all kinds of programming, what you'd go into for professional football and breaking down their gym programs um, and doing like a an analysis, a needs analysis on a football player, okay? Which I did for one of my degrees, okay? And we just break down that sport and what they actually need to do, whether it's injury risks, a prevalent of cases of muscle tears, all that kind of fun stuff, okay? So go have a look at that if you wanna look uh, or just crack on. Um, obviously, if you have managed to make it through this YouTube video, thank you, um, <laughs> and go download. If you do do anything from this plan, um, then tag my social media, at Tom Hall Coach. I'm sure it's in here somewhere, there is. Um, obviously you can click links all the way through um, to find me and you would have probably found me on Instagram anyway okay so here we are so yeah go have fun join my email list book in a call if you want to come chat to me um, and then I've got an awful podcast that you want to listen to and you hopefully will subscribe to the YouTube channel like subscribe all that kind of stuff comment down below okay um, thanks for listening I hope you go have a fun kind of three, four weeks, run this plan, then come back and chat to me. See if you want to go any further. Okay? Peace out.